Hey again everyone, so I'm back today to do another book review for you and today that is on Cascade by Lisa T. Berggren. Um, if you saw my book hauls or my review of Waterfall, you'll know that I was super excited for the series and that Waterfall was just amazing. So amazing that I had to start Cascade straight away because it just hooked me so completely. So just to let you know, this is a book two. So I, I try not to give away too much that you can't sort of gather from um, other reviews or things on Goodreads. So I try not to spoil it too much, but just be aware that this is book two. Um, so I will read back the book. What if you not only fell back through time, but fell in love too? Gabby knows she's left her heart in the 14th century and she persuades Leah to help her return even though they know doing so will risk their very lives. When they arrive, months have passed and all of Siena longs to celebrate the heroines who turn the tide in the battle against Florence, while their enemies go to great lengths to see them dead. Even in the midst of battles, Gabby's heart is increasingly drawn to Marcello, just as Leah's is to Luca. In medieval Italy, the sisters discover things inside themselves that they couldn't seem to find in the present. Connection with their mum, courage within, and the understanding that a life well lived often means encountering sacrifice. But in a world long past, many things still keep Gabby from giving Marcello her heart forever, and one thing in particular calls all three of the Bellarinis home. Okay, before I start like gushing about how awesome this series is, I'll start with the cover. Um, my favourite colour is green and melding this green with the blues, it's not coming up terribly well because of the light in this room, but if you see at the beginning of the video the picture that I put up, it really is a wonderful sort of cover and the spines are all lovely and they all look lovely on the shelf. Um, <coughs> and they're velvety and buttery and just oh so wonderful. Um, and just as I imagined um, Gabby on the front of Waterfall was how I sort of thought Gabby would look in my head. Um, again, this is how I how I pictured Leah. Um, she is still pretty, but she has this sort of strength about her. Um, so, on to talking about the actual book. Um, I, I, won't, I, try, I will try not to give away too much about this book and Waterfall. So this is going to be tough. Okay, At the end of Waterfall, something happens and they have to go back to their own time um, and now they're there they're thinking that they have to um, go back they don't know how much time is passing um, in the past like what is minutes for them could be months for um, Marcello and everyone back in medieval Italy so they try and convince their mum to go back in time and they go because their mum is an archaeologist they go oh, see the past you know as it was back then which is an irresistible law to um, their mum. So they go back and chaos is happening again. Um, in book one they get this reputation as the she-wolves because the, they're these modern girls but of course um, everyone doesn't know that they're modern, um, that they're from years in the future and so they get these reputation as you know these fierce warrior girls and the enemy, Florence, obviously wants to capture them um, and use them or kill them um, because they, they've become these great symbols of Siena and everyone fights for them. Um, in this book you, you have that going on, you have the enemy wanting to take the castles back again, you have them wanting to kill um, Leah and Gabby and now their mum too. Um, in this book you also have the element of the plague, the Black Death that swept across Europe in the 14th century, that is on their on its way. So, in the back of their minds, they're having to think: when the plague going to come? Are we going to be killed by this enemy, or are we going to eventually die of the plague? Um, what else can I say? Um, so, there. This book has more. I wouldn't say the first book has a lot of action. This book has a lot of action, but there's other elements coming into play as well. Like the first book has has all these sort of fights going on and politics. This has the fights and the politics and, and also the, it really gets across the intricacies of the politics going on even like they make treaties but they break them um, 
all the, like the arranged marriages, all this is going on in this book. Um, um, and the plague just gives it that other. The, the it brings to, it brings home that there's more than battles um, that cause danger in this time. There's also this terrible disease that's going to come and possibly kill them. Um, the characters are just as awesome in this book. Um, they all return, um, and some more are brought in. What amazed me is that it really picks up exactly where you left off in book one. It doesn't start like, I don't know, a, d a day later or something. It picks up exactly where it left off, and the writing style is just so fluid. It just transitions so easily from book one to book two. It's like, it's almost like they're one big book. You haven't stopped reading and picked up another book it just transitions so smoothly on to the next book um i'm still in love with marcelo i have to say i think i'm in love with luca too um on my blog i have um <laughs> team marcelo and um team luca both of them there because I, I don't think i can choose i like them both i really do um so you can see that well leah didn't really want to go back because she's she's had to kill people. She's nearly seen her sister like die several times. They've already lost their father, not in medieval Italy. He died um and before that, before they went back in time. And so she's having to handle this death, and she doesn't think she can handle it anymore. But then Gabby's left her heart there. She's fallen in love with Marcello, and she doesn't know if she can really live without him. So she has to convince her mother and her sister that they need to go back. Um, oh my God. I'm I'm just in love with this series. I'm trying to be more serious in this review. Can you tell? I'm trying to be more objective, but it's just not working because this series is just amazing, amazing. And again, as soon as I finish this, I moved straight on to Torrent. Um, <coughs> I finished Cascade last night, or when I upload this review, it might be the night before. Um, I'm moving straight on to Torrent. I haven't managed to read any, any of this today because I've been at college all day um, and I didn't want to start it, have to like read a page and put it down. I wanted to start it when I could read chapters at that time. Um, but you definitely have to give this series a chance. Definitely. I loved it, well, one book one and book two so far. I've loved it so much. Just, It's just so absorbing. I wrote on my blog that if everyone read this series at the same time the world would come to a standstill and I stand by that. I think because it's so... you just get sucked in and I have to give Lisa T. Um, T. Bergman credit for her writing. She's just... What? I, I honestly... so far I can't fault anything. I've loved everything. I haven't not liked a single thing about these books and normally I could like um, be really picky and find something but honestly nothing springs to mind even when I'm reading it I'm not finding anything that I don't like at all um, so definitely another five out of five which I'm sure you could already tell that's what it was gonna be um, and just that you know at the back of these books there are discussion questions for like if you're in a book club or you like your all your friends read it and stuff. Well, none of my friends have read it or plan to read it. Unfortunately, I am determined to sway them, um, but they're not they're not borrowing my copies. Um, so I didn't. Uh, so I decided that I would post my answers to these questions on my blog um, and see if other like bloggers do the same and see everyone's answers. So it's almost like a discussion. It's a virtual discussion. And I I thought that somehow. Me and Jessica, the Evangeline Lily, who also loves this series, could somehow do a joint video, or somehow record our webcams at the same. I don't know. I'm not technical at all. Um, to try and just post that little bit extra about these books that are just so amazing. Um, you have to check these out. Have to. Just, just have to. See, I went back to being non-objective again. Damn it. Um, definitely check these out. If you don't check another series out this year, check this one out. Okay, <laughs> um, that's all for now. I think unless I just like start writing songs about them and then like just like sing them to you. No, I'm getting carried away now. Um, I will see you all soon. Hopefully in a much more serious manner. 
uh, happy reading.